Hey YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe, honey. And today is Wednesday. Instead of Hump Wednesday, everybody keep calling it Hump Wednesday. I'm going to change the lane to my lane and I'm going to call it Thought Juice Wednesday. You know, because it's a thought juice type of day. It's a lot of fuckery going on. And I don't want to call it Fuckery Wednesday because somebody else call it Fuckery Fridays on their channel. So, I'm going to call my Thought Juice Wednesday, honey. <laughs> yes. This Thought Juice is Cherry and Lime. I thought it was going to taste kind of weird, but it really don't. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is, okay, I live in New York City, and they have the marathon every year in New York City. Now, I was doing my mother here, and the marathon was last week, and they was talking about it before, like a day before, and the route and the sneakers that these... Nigerians was wearing and I was like but why are we talking about these sneakers but my mother we had it on mute my mother noticed the sneakers like excuse me they have on all these like neon colored sneakers and they was I think they was made by Nike if I'm not mistaken and I said and I said to my mother if a Nigerian wins with them with them with them neon colored sneakers on it's going to be a problem for some people. Sure enough, I go to therapy at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I'm looking at the news in a, uh, a Nigerian one with them neon colored sneakers. And, you know, people are all in the uproar, honey, about these Nigerians winning, winning this damn race with them damn sneakers on, honey. They blamed it on the sneaker, honey. Oh, because it gives them a little lift and X, Y, and Z. And I'm saying to myself, well, damn. Why y'all not, why, why, why are we acting like these Nigerians? Why, why is it that the Nigerians just can't be athletic? Why did, first of all, I just said it was a marathon, right? And not a race. So I do not understand why people were so pressed about that Nigerian person. Winning the marathon if it's only a marathon. Now, it was all type of cyclists and running and all that in this marathon. Why are we so pressed like paninis when the Nigerian crossed the finish line first with these neon colored sneakers? Because it was like the Nigerian couldn't just do it without the sneaker. Oh, it had to be the sneaker that gave this person the push through the finish line. I'm going to need y'all to stop being so motherfucking press. Okay? Um, let's move on to the next fuckery thing. Now, ha, I'm looking at Atlanta Housewives and Tasha K face pops up. You know Tasha K. You know. You know the wine drinking chick. I like Tasha K sometimes, you know. But you know the whole Portia Williams thing with the dentist. Her um, baby father has popped up. And you know Tasha K is the one that broke that story. And and um, that's not the reason why I'm talking about Tasha K. And you know the reason why I'm really talking about Tasha K is because now Tasha K. Remember I told y'all she's supposed to be on Nicki Minaj's Queen Radio with um, T.S. Madison. Right? Okay, after I make that video, she goes on her video on her um, channel and says that she is the one that convinced Nicki Minaj to do the song with Megan Thee Stallion. And when I seen that last night, right, I did just like this. What? And I said to myself. How you going to say that you convinced Nicki Minaj to do the song with Megan Thee Stallion? And I said to myself, this bitch, you know, 
she may not be the brightest bulb in the motherfucking box. Because the reason why I'm saying that is because... Remember when Megan and Nikki did the live? I always called bullshit on it. It didn't look authentic. It didn't look real like two friends, two girlfriends that wanted to work together. On Nikki's end, it looked kind of forced a little bit. And it looked kind of fake. You know, when you... You know when some shit is fake. I don't fuck what nobody say. And to me, I've always thought that that live was phony and fake. At least on Nikki's end. Now, Nikki fans, please, like I said, do not come for me. Unless I send for you. And I'm not sending for you because I'm a fan. I'm going to need Nikki to get off Wendy Williams' neck. And go jump back in the motherfucking booth. And I'm not talking about Queen Radio. I'm talking about a booth where she can spit some some songs. And write some things. And create an album. I'm just saying. How the hell. Did Ta- how the hell Tasha K. Is going to come out her mouth and say. She convinced Nikki of doing the song with Megan Thee Stallion. So basically, bitch, you just threw Nikki underneath the motherfucking bus. Because the way that that, that that live video came off, it was like the live video came off as, yeah, she decided to do it and reached out because they were saying, remember, they were saying that Nicki Minaj wasn't really reaching out to female artists and X, Y, and Z and... You know how they was talking about Nikki and other female artists, how she don't never put nobody on. Remember that pressure they tried to put on Nikki? And she never embraced female rappers. And um, for Tasha K to come out and say, oh, I convinced her to do it because Megan is a cool chick and X, Y, and Z. So if Tasha K convinced Nicki Minaj to do the song with Megan Thee Stallion, I'm going to need Tasha K to go to her friend when she get on Queen Radio and tell her friend that she needs to drop an album and take her time and do it. And, you know, because her going in on Wendy Williams didn't, I mean, all right, you going on her, Okay, going in on her should only take at least 20 minutes. You break down your story, then you go in, you throw little jabs here and there. All right, but the rest of the whole the whole show, you got to go in on Wendy Williams? Wendy Williams, like I said, been doing that shit for years. You pick your husband, and you think nobody ain't going to have nothing to say about it? You should just be happy that the queen of radio... And TV did what she does best. And that's fucking going on, people. It is what it is. It is what it is. Don't take that shit to heart all the time. Don't feel like you always got to, you know, swing, like I said in the last video, for, for, for your husband. That's your husband. You chose him. Roll with the punches, all right? Now, what else did I say I want to talk about? I can't wait for that Queen Radio with Tasha K and them to come on, though. But for Tasha K to, to say that she convinced Nicki Minaj, that looks kind of bad. And I hope Nicki Minaj looks at that and says, well, damn, bitch. Now you convincing me to do shit, bitch? I'm the queen, but you convincing me to do... You just made me look bad. She just made To me, she just made Nicki Minaj look bad. I don't care what nobody say. Because if you had to be that, con- that that you had to have a talk with Tasha K to be convinced to work with another rapper or a female rapper at that, girl, stop it. Please cut it out. Like if that was the case, then honey, girl, if she had to convince you, girl. Another fuck news up today. I was looking at Love and Hip Hop. 
And the last episode with April and Fizz and Monique, that little scene at the roller skating at the roller skating ring. I wanted to drop kick the shit out of April and her motherfucking neck. First of all, that bitch is disrespectful. And I feel like she wanted Monique to come out of character. Remember a couple of seasons ago? Remember when Fizz was fucking with the little Spanish chick? And Monique reached across the table and grabbed that bitch by her hair? I felt like April was looking for that moment to come out of Monique's anything to discredit Monique. Because Monique has been spitting facts to me out of everybody on that show. Monique, Monique has been keeping that shit 100 all this time. She been told y'all that um, Fizz and April was fucking around. But y'all thought that, you know, Monique was bugging the fuck out. Oh, she just wants you, Fizz. She just wants you back. I don't think that's that. She wants respect. And why would you make her son, you, 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 you told you, basically April said that her son, that Monique and Fizz's son, basically, you basically said he lied and said, oh, no, he don't know what he's talking about. We not boyfriend and girlfriend. And then y'all come to the roller skating ring hand in hand and kissing and shit and throwing it in her face. It's like she was looking for a moment to say that, oh, Moniz did this for she can try to discredit her. I wasn't feeling that. I wanted to drop kick Fizz in his motherfucking throat too. Because how many bitches of Omarion's is you going to sleep with, my nigga? Now it comes to find out they saying that Jay Bug slept with Omarion's mother. Now that's a fucking reach right there. That's a reach. I'm still waiting on info about that. They said something about the reunion. It came out at the reunion. I'm still waiting for that. Like that shit right there is like what? He slept with your mama, Jay Bug. I can't see Jay Bug sleeping with Omarion's mother. But I like how. Omarion don't have no, like, I'm not going to go out on the internet and got nothing to say. This nigga is so motherfucking unbothered. I would love to get to his level of unbothered, okay? Because sometimes, on some days, I be wanting to punch a bitch in the throat, okay? I want to get to his level of unbothered. Because let me tell you something. That man ain't got shit to say. He ain't got, it, 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 it's like, come on. The crazy thing is about April, Omarion's mother been called that shit. She says she ain't ready for this. She ain't ready for that, X, Y, and Z. She still want to live that life. And honey, she was right. She was right. April, to me, is a girl that knows she is pretty. And she's a thought. Not like the stock juice, but I'm just saying she's a thought. What else is there to talk about? Um, I don't even know what it is to talk about. What else is it to talk about, y'all, that I was looking at? Let me see something real quick. Let me put my little thought juice down real quick. See what's going on on the internet real quick. Because it was just a lot. It was just a lot. It was a lot. Somebody just reached out to me on my own. Let me see what's going on on the internet. But I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm waiting to see the reunion because I would love to see what's going on in the reunion. Because that Love & Hip Hop reunion is going to be crazy. I believe that Moni should lay hands and feet on April. Yes, because... How is it that one minute, I understand they have some breaks in the episodes. Like, one minute they'll tape, and the next minute they'll tape something. Like, it'll have long periods of time on when they tape. But no. April should punch that bitch in the throat. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Let me see what else, because... It was a lot of things that I had on my mind. And as soon as I cut off the camera, I felt like I was, I went dumb. 
Dum 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 dum. Okay, another thing that I want to talk about. Yes, Ti's daughter. People were saying how he, he said that he goes to the doctor with his daughter to make sure she's still a virgin. I'm not mad at that situation. I don't understand why everybody is so up in arms about this shit. Because the funny thing is, I just watched the Housewives of Orange County. Right, Shannon has three girls. Do y'all know that she makes them take a drug test? Yeah, a drug test. Crazy thing is, like, I think like a season ago, the oldest daughter, if I'm not mistaken, wanted to take birth control to regulate her period. And I'm saying to myself, ah, oh, bitch, no. So Shannon shut that whole shit down. The mother. She shut that down. But to last the, the the episode that this came on the other day definitely showed her drug testing her kids though. Definitely. That's a whole fact. So which one is that's sitting up there worrying about T.I. I think that's his only daughter. First of all, with everything going on in the world today, I feel like you have to hold on to your kids a little bit more tighter. Now more than ever. You understand what I'm saying? And if his daughter is okay with him going to doctor's appointments at X, Y, and Z, I'm not understanding why for the life of everybody in the world is so op up in arms about it. Like, oh, he's forcing her. You know how controlling he is. Yes, T.I. is controlling of his family. We know how T.I. is. We all watch Family Hustle. But I don't really see the difference between Shannon of Housewives of Orange County drug testing her three daughters and him taking his daughter to a doctor's appointment to make sure everything was okay with her body. I'm not, I'm not, it's nothing different about it. I'm not mad at neither one of those situations. With the things that are going on in today's society, I think her kids are into modeling and she knows what goes on. In that world of modeling the drugs and eating disorders and all that other stuff. So she's afraid that her kids might be, you know. You never know if your kids is going to play father or leader until they get out into that world and start experiencing life. That the same goes for T.I.'s daughter. You don't know her friend. You know her friends, but you don't know if she's going to play father or leader and somebody's going to pressure his daughter to having sex before her time or whatever. So I'm not mad at neither one of those situations. I don't understand why everybody is so... You got to do what you got to do to hold on to your kids. And I'm not trying to say smother them. But you got to do what you got to do. Because his, his, his daughter and her three girls, they all in that age where they can get influenced by their peers and they're on TV and they're part of the you know they family they mothers and fathers is in the limelight they're in the limelight they're on TV so you never know what can happen to them so I'm not really I'm I think I listen do what you I say as a parent you gotta do what you guys to do You know, somebody always saying some slick shit. I'm reading this comment right now. I'm going to read this comment. No real queen would let somebody keep dragging her husband, period. I'm married and I'm not letting nobody talk shit about my husband, period. I'm not... Okay, that was the whole thing from the whole Nicki Minaj. That was one of the comments that just... Hit my comment section. Hit my comment section from that video. As I'm doing this video with y'all, I'm looking at the other phone and it's like, what? First of all, first of all, if you listen to the whole video when I say 
real queen this and real queen that. A real queen is going to stand, stand ten toes down in her motherfucking decision. Period. Like I said, Nicki Minaj chose Kenneth Petty to be her husband. So don't be mad when people drag him for being whatever. A sex offender, attempt murderer, this, this, that, and the third. You chose who the fuck you chose. Stand ten toes down in that motherfucking decision is what I said. Like, I don't understand what people not understanding. Because if I chose to be with a bank robber, and I'm famous out there in the world, people going to be like, well, not even, I don't even have to be famous for people to drag my husband. I can be in my little group of friends, and they will drag my husband. You never know. They might be dragging my husband behind my back. I don't got no husband, but I'm just saying. Hypothetically, if I had a husband that's a bank robber, and I chose to be with that man, you think my friends is not going to have something to say like, oh, y'all think Eve is choosing the right person? She really met, married that bank robber? So you trying to say... If you feel like, if your friends feel like you married the wrong person, they not going to drag your husband just a little bit? I know I'm all over the place. Listen, this, drink the thought juice and keep up. I'm just saying, you really think that your friends is not going to drag them just a little bit? They not going to just talk about you just a smidgen? Lies. They gonna talk about you just a little bit. Oh, she married that bank robber, honey. Yeah, it's gonna be all types of fuck shit talking about. Because the person that you choose to marry is supposed to reflect you. Y'all supposed to reflect each other. And I'm not trying to bash Nicki Minaj's choice or whatever. But if I marry somebody, he's going to represent me in the best light, and I'm going to represent him. And if I know I'm a queen, I'm definitely, definitely going to marry somebody that I feel is worthy to be a king. Period. Period. I'm not dragging Nikki for her choice. Everybody, you cannot, if your heart loves him, your heart loves the person that you love. But don't get mad when you are out there in the limelight and you choose who you choose and you think that nobody like Wendy Williams or Charlemagne the God or people that judge other people it's not going to judge you. That's all I'm saying. I had to reply to that. Instead of... I'm going to put it into words underneath that other video. But I had to reply to that right on then and there. Because it came as I'm doing this video. So I replied to it. But I'm just saying. I'm not... In the, like right now, I'm focusing on my career. I'm a queen that's focused on my career. I'm not focused on finding a man. I'm not trying to find a man. I'm not looking for a man. I'm just out here living my best life. And I have goals. You understand? So I'm focusing on me. And I'm happy in my space. That I'm in in my life. And I feel like Nicki Minaj is happy in the space that she is in her life. But what I do feel like is you don't have to swing that bat every time when somebody is talking about your husband. Be proud of what you chose. Period. You don't have to tell us that he bought the ring. You don't have to do none of that shit. Because you don't owe nobody that. I don't care if you is in the limelight. You don't owe nobody no explanation about who you love. You just love that person and pray that they love you back 
in the same demeanor. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. Period. Just like with Fizz and April. That's to me is this a storyline. And more to get underneath Moni's skin. Fizz been doing that since Love and Hip Hop came on. Like, he to me, he's a bitch nigga. He's been doing things just to get underneath Moni's skin. But what I want Moni's to do is, in her heart and in her mind, I need her to say, fuck both of them. Take care of your son. Focus on your music and your goals and rise like a phoenix from the ashes. That's all she can do to get on their nerve right back. Because people don't, you know, to me, I feel like they some haters anyway. I feel like if Moni's get in that studio and sing her heart out and make a hit record, those two would die. Know why I say that? I say that because remember the episode when April came back to Fizz and was like, yeah, because your baby mother want me to be part of her tour. And he was like, what tour? She ain't got nothing going on, baby. If that girl get a hit record, and have something going on other than them as a storyline or whatever. And now focus on love and hip-hop Hollywood. They would die. They would die. Because it's like they don't have nobody to get that attention from. Omarion is already painting them dust. So if Moniece get on that level and rise above them all. It's a wrap. What else they gonna talk about next year? They not gonna have nothing to talk about. I'm just saying they not gonna have nothing to talk about. What are you gonna talk about? If you ain't got nothing to talk about, what you gonna talk about? Um, what else I wanted to talk about? It's just a lot. It was a lot. Everybody talking about T.I. daughter right now, though. Everybody is going in about T.I.'s daughter and how he's so controlling. Like, I don't get it. I, I don't. I just don't get it. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Like, I really don't understand why people is like, of course it's a hot topic because this is T.I. Everybody has their opinion. But he just don't want nothing to happen to his daughter. Period. And I can understand that. Some people, if they had a chance to hold on to their kids a little bit tighter, they would do that. They would just do that. So I don't know. I don't get why everybody, why is, why is everybody acting like, oh, he's a control freak. He is a father first. Then he's T.I. to us. And that's what y'all not understanding. We don't know their whole story. Maybe she have a backstory, and maybe that's why he holding on so tight. Y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all just don't know. So I'm not mad that he's doing I'm not mad at all. If Shannon from Housewives of Orange County can drug test her girls, I'm not understanding why he can't take his child to the doctor. I just don't get it. Uh, and that's all I really got to talk about, guys. But y'all know, I be, you know, in my head when I get in that dark room and I, I just be thinking about a lot of things, honey. A lot of things. But that whole Tasha K saying that she convinced Nicki Minaj, with that being said, I really do want to see if Nicki Minaj is going to have her on Queen Radio after that comment right there. Because to me, she didn't have to say it. Is there certain things you don't have to take credit for? You just don't have to take credit for some things. I believe if... I don't believe she should have said it. 
Why you even if you did have to convince her to do that, you know you get ready to go on Queen Radio. Why did you have to go? You already having to me, Tosh K is already having a winning. She hit the the you hit you came right out the ballpark on Sunday. You was already featured on Housewives of Atlanta with the whole Porsche thing. You already had got the call from Nicki Minaj on your platform, X, Y, and Z, and she already said that you was going to be on Queen Radio. I did not understand for the life of me why she had to take credit and say, oh, I'm the one that convinced her to do the song with Megan. Because it just made Nicki Minaj look bad. I'm sorry. It really made Nicki Minaj... Nicki Minaj doing that song with Megan... Put her 10 steps forward. Like, okay, Nicki Minaj do want to do songs with other girls. But when Tosh K said what she said, it knocked Nicki 20, 20 spaces back. Now I'm convinced that you don't want to do no songs with other females. Until I see otherwise on her behalf by herself and it look genuine, I, I'm going to believe that it was kind of forced. Like that live video between her and Megan. I really don't. I don't know. Y'all hit me in the comments about those topics. And I will hit y'all back. As you can see. I do not hesitate to hit somebody back. But um. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. And y'all hit me in the comments. YouTube. I'm going to finish that thought juice. See y'all later. Bye.